Hello, welcome to our week 14 Monday at 3 p.m. meeting. Um, English 1B, right? Let's start with questions you might have. Uh, let's see, um, how can I help you with anything before we get started on week 14? I managed to get most of the gradings done. So um, be sure that you verify and double check your grades. So perhaps if I overlooked something. Um, you, you are not allowed to bring the cheat sheet into the room, but yes, we do have um, a study guide for the final. So it is under week 15 discussions forum. I decided to open both week 14 and week 15 to you. And, um, oh, I believe, um, oh, so I posted it on week 14, and then I give you the sample solution. I give you um, the solution here, okay? Um, even though you have the answers here, you know, it would be wise to uh, not cheat by going directly to, to this page. Um, you should try to do it yourself so that mem your memory, um, it, it sticks better in your memory. That's what I'm trying to say. And then when you recall it, it's faster as well. So yeah, this is it, the, the answer key to uh, the review. Yes, you are allowed to bring in an American English dictionary, paper bound, paperback one. It's not um, one, just one of them. <laughs> not a whole lot of uh, and electronic devices. So you cannot use any electronic devices. Is the uh, answer there. Yes, the final exam is exactly like what we've been doing for our midterm. So the midterms, again, um, are the final, the previous final exam prompts that, that we've been writing to as practices, okay? It is gonna be a very, if, if I may say the format would be exactly like the, the midterms. You'd be given two passages, two uh, pieces of literature. It could be a poem and a, uh, a, a passage of fiction, or it could be a short scene from a play and a short passage from a novella or a novel. Or it could be two pieces of uh, short stories uh, or it could be two poems, okay? So we don't know what the problem is, so we need to prepare for it. Um, <clears throat> you should, last semester, the problem was already on two passages from two different story, short stories. So I, uh, I'm assuming that this semester is gonna be on either the poems or the drama, okay? So because the English department um, likes to uh, switch it up a little bit, so they're, they're more than likely to use, uh, to not use fiction or short stories for our, um, for 2017 final exam. So I would, if I were you, I would try to gauge and aim for um, reviewing po poems or poetry elements uh, and try to analyze poems better or uh, drama, okay? <clears throat> it could also be from a novel as well or a novella. <clears throat> um, other questions? before I get started talking to you about the next two weeks. Okay, yes, you do have the option to revise and resubmit your poetry essay um, if you turn it in on time. If you missed the due date and you submitted it late, I'm sorry, you cannot um, resubmit, okay? You are able to submit your research essay, final draft, early for extra five points. What are the, the things that have not been graded? 
what are your two things, what are your few things that I, I have not graded? Really? I thought I took care of those, but um, let me see here. Uh, did you resubmit them or something? This is going to show Zoha's grade. But I'm gonna go to Teresa. I regraded it. Okay, so let's go to Mark. So Despite your high score, you, you also redid this, Mark? Okay, so let's take, let's, let me take care of Teresa first, then I'll go to you. The second essay is the poetry essay. Are you talking about that one? So Teresa, as it shows here that your, your grade became a 92. Okay, so week seven, um, let me go to week seven. No worries. Uh, let's see here. So it's, yeah, sure, that's not, not a problem. You responded like I suggested, so you got full points for that one. Is there another one? Might as well look at all of them now that you've raised it. I mean, now that you're asking. <laughs> the other essay, the fiction essay, And so while she looks, uh, Mark, are you, you, which one are you talking about? The second essay, the, the fiction essay? I mean, the poetry essay? Your poetry essay got perfect score. Wow, they look, anyone else want me to uh, look at an assignment that you re redone? You've redone, but then I haven't uh, uh, changed the score. You're welcome. Okay, but please uh, keep monitoring your grade and uh, let me know. Because um, I do plan on submitting your official letter grade on December 22nd, which is a, um, which is a Friday. Response nine, okay, let me see response nine. Response night. Where are you response night? Okay, here it is. The third essay is the um, midterm. 
or the drama critic. Seven, I haven't graded response nine yet. But let's see, since you fired up. Yeah, this, this is wonderful. Yeah, it's, there's no reason why it should not be, uh, why it should not be a full, full, uh, full grade. Yeah, I have not graded the drama critic yet also. So those are the assignments I have not graded. Sure, three in a, one moment. Uh, the latest day would be next Monday. Okay, please try to adhere to that because we're, de we're, we're dealing with um, tight schedule, remaining schedule. So I would appreciate it if you could re please resubmit your revision for the poetry essay and the midterm essay number two on, on Monday. So let's go to um, please oh, um, poetry essay. Where is my poetry essay? I closed it. Shoot. Done it. Don't open it again. Hold on. Okay, so uh, Mark, everything is caught up ex uh, except for the, um, the newer ones I have, have not graded. Have not graded. Discussion 14 is also not graded. <clears throat> okay, so please, uh, I, oh, this is, oops, wrong one. Poetry. Okay, so I responded saying that, oh, I, oh sorry, um, you, you said you submitted this on time, but then it doesn't show on my end. Okay, so let's look. The the outline isn't isn't a uh, pie structure, but that's okay. Oh, that's the pre-write. Oops, <laughs> my bad. Okay, good outline here. And then the final draft. Okay, this this document here three needs to be on turn it in. So. Uh, let me see if it's on Turnitin. Your final draft needs to be to, uh, in Turnitin, on Turnitin. It is there, but uh, Turnitin cannot read a zip file, okay? So please just uh, submit, please resubmit for me so that Turnitin can capture, can help me capture plagiarism. So I'm going to delete this and then just submit the final draft and not the whole zip file, okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll get to that, Teresa. So Tweet, please uh, do that for me. And then um, once I have it on Turnitin, I will grade it. Then uh, you still have the chance to redo it if you have a low score and if you want to, okay? Because I need Turnitin to capture your plagiarism. And yeah, you did Turnitin, but then Turnitin could not. Um, decide for the zip file. All right, now we understood. Cool. Um, let's see here. Uh, I was about to examine. Yes, please. That would be awesome. Okay. At this point, um, it's just a minor detail, but if you did it, um, it should help you out with the drama, uh, the, the drama unit. Okay, so please um, put it on the discussions forum for, uh, for others and me to look at. 
So extra credit, five points, if you submit your final draft plus pre-writing and outlining materials of the research essay on Sunday, December 10th, before 11 59 p.m., okay? And you can use these five extra credit points in any category. Okay, so um, it, this will also turn it in uh, early. We also enable you to, uh, if say next Monday I, or next week, I agree your research, the early bird research essay. And then I don't, I don't think that it, I mean, like you haven't really um, done a good job on it. You can uh, redo it, but give it, and you know, you you, be, <laughs> you only have like a few days to work on it, but at least still you you have a chance to to improve it. So that's the only extra credit opportunity, okay, for the for turning in the research essay, the final draft, next month, uh, next, um, this Sunday, <laughs> this coming Sunday, December tenth, instead of December fifteenth. Other questions. Okay, so we are reading uh, Franz Kafka, The Metamorphosis, which is a novel, la, novella, <laughs> a short novel. Okay, here it is in its entirety. As you can see, it's very long. Um, so we're spending this week and next week on it. Okay. Um, please also read me term number three information and uh, that's just the, the bit about the extra credit thing. Explanation of the, the metamorphosis. It's about uh, Gregory's transformation from being a human to a cockroach. The point of reading the novella Oh, it's, it's considered a classic. Um, this novella has been widely anthologized over the years, and it's one of the canonical liter literary pieces. Oh, you read it, okay. Um, it's super dense. So um, if you if you skimmed it, you might have missed out on some of the importance there. Uh, there's a lot has that has been written on this novella, um, including Spark Notes and Smoop and other um, like like um, alike websites. Um, yeah, it's one of the denser ones. There is a um, PowerPoint. Oh, not this one, the 15 one. Have you done this yet? Have you looked at this uh, week 14 discussions forum? And this PowerPoint has um, some useful information. Yeah, you do need to. You would need to do that. Um, that would be part of week 15 next week. So some of these lit talk questions and the question, the discussions question I posted on week 14, 
might enable you to see the point if you uh, think about them and discuss them and post them. Okay, so um, reading a small piece on it, like a, a very sharp, uh, short analysis on this novella doesn't do is, is justice. So you're gonna need to um, read a whole lot more. But for me, it um, represents the transformation the, that um, our society has seems to be going towards, like the um, from being uh, a human full of uh, good values towards an insect that that uh, decays in morals, and uh, the people surrounding our main character, the protagonist Gregory Gregor is uh, are um, reflecting that transformation that. Um, human to, to insect transformation, it, where it seems to indicate that our society, as, it, as we become more and more um, advanced as a civilization, we are getting isolated more and more, and that turns us into, that um, forces us, us to live a life like a cockroach, kind of like, like that, you know, we scurry and we hide from the sun and we peer our faces onto our phones or onto our smart devices and we don't communicate with each other like we used to. So um, that's just a very short slice into the complexity of this novella. Right? If, you, you, if you just do a short Google search on, on this uh, work, you find plenty of analysis that you can read and you're so interested about about this but for for our purposes we're reading this novella to be familiar with the elements of the novel okay and to be better prepared for in case uh, it is used on the final exam and in, in the past um the English department like to use it. Exactly. But still, um, despite our, our reduced status, uh, what seem to symbolically means that we, we've been reduced to the status of a, a cockroach, but still we are surviving, right? So, so there's uh, that to, to, to consider. But first read the story and um, it's quite dense, so <laughs> don't uh, read it in a hurry. Maybe break it up in chunks and enjoy it. Okay, so with uh, midterm, yeah, yeah, very um, condescending behaviorist um, survival instinct kind of thing. Um, so I was so I was talking to you. Kept getting distracted. Mid, uh, midterm number three is just important because, um, as you can see, that it's probably going to be on the metamorphosis or the novella. Okay. So you're going to need to read this carefully. Uh, I don't show you the. Unlike midterm number two, you do, you are not given a whole week to consider the given. Um, passages okay so you will see the two uh, excerpts literature excerpts at the same time that you see the prompt well you know literature is open to careful interpretation interpretation uh, and analysis so that would be certainly one way to look at it but um, the novella is chock full of other themes that can be explored, like um, the importance of family and the dysfunction, um, dysfunctional features of a family that can either break or make you, kind of like that. That could be a, a major theme that can be explored in this no novella. Okay, so. Um, Good question there. Uh, December 
it says here that you have the option to type this midterm three. It's due on Sunday, December 10th. Um, at 12.01 on December 10th, you, you be, uh, you'll be able to see the, the prompt, okay? So I've set it so that it, it, will be, it will become available to you on Sunday so that you have the whole um, day to work on it. And then I suggest that you handwrite it to, so that you have a better feel of, and then time yourself for two hours, right? Because that's how much time you have for the final exam. Um, then we have response number 10, which is our last response. And you can write it on the, uh, the metamorphosis or you can write it on trifles. So you pick which one you want to put, one write on. Okay. Uh, week 14 discussions, started talking to you about that earlier. But um, you have this long task here dedicated for the novella and you can choose one question from each section to uh, respond to. So any of these works. Okay, so it's same thing, one of these part two questions and one of these part three questions. So I'm expecting to see three questions, three responses total for three questions from three different sections of the novella. And then I'm, I'm asking you to complete this handout um, using the metamorphosis. For example, the protagonist is Gregor. And then, did I say Gregory, Gregor? Did I miss, um, did I misremember his name? <laughs> okay, so the antagonist, who would that be? Okay, story of initiation, what does that mean? And I said earlier that you, you are given the, uh, the key, the answer key here. Samsa, oh, dang it. I forgot his last name. Uh, so here's an, a, a sample solution to that handout. So to, to type in directly, you need to make a copy, as you know, after you log on to Drive. Um, so that's this task right here. Wix, um, it is due on December 15th, when you need to have the following items on it. Okay, which you are gonna check. This list is found under that assignment. And I've listed all the major assignments that I would like to see, beginning with the diagnostic essay. Okay, so go down the list. And the discussion forum posts are optional. You may or may not post them. If you think you did fantastic work, with the discussion forum posts, please share that with the audience, with, the, with some random uh, visitor to your website, to your Wix, okay? And the uh, graded criteria are completion. Have you posted all of these up there? Accessibility, how easy is it to, uh, and how, what's the, what's the ease of access on your, um, on your Wix? User friendliness, is it easy to navigate? Does it uh, post any prompt in navigation um, to a brand new Wix user or a random person visiting your Wix? Okay, um, does it, is it organized logically and, and is it um, confusing <laughs> or is it confusing to look at? Creativity refers to you know, like the style, the, whether you have, um, uh, you know, beautiful things to look at. And clarity is, um, can I find each one of these assignments easily? Or do I have to click like 10,000 uh, things to get to your assignment? That's kind of like tied to um, accessibility and user friendliness. Okay. So please uh, consider these criteria as, I, I, uh, as you work on this assignment. Um, 
it is overwhelming now, but remember we're talking about two weeks worth of materials here. Um, I've talked to you already about the research essay. So you have, again, just to remind you, you have the option to turn it in this Sunday for five extra credit points and a chance to redo and resubmit. Otherwise, just submit it on December 15th. Midterm number three, this will become available to you on December 10th. Right now, I don't think you can do it, but let me double check to see if I'm eating my own words. Okay, double check in. I said it so that it only shows on Sunday. Can you see this assignment from on your end? You can? Oh crap. Can you, can you see the prompt? Then that, that would defeat the, the purpose. Defeat the purpose of holding it up to Sunday. Okay, yeah, that's what I meant. You cannot see it on your site. Okay. But yeah, here it is. Um, okay, so that's gonna come on Sunday. It's gonna stretch your um, ability level a little bit there. So week 15 required readings, now that uh, we're doing two weeks in a row, is just to read the rest of this novella. There's no more quiz. Oh, by the way, there's a quiz on this novella. So 30, 30 questions. Um, I've set it to be um, due on December 10th, okay, but if you need more time on it, please let me know and so I can delay the, the due date to the 15th if that's what you want. Week 15 discussions forum. Um, there is a snapshot survey. Um, it, it's just for, just for my, just to see how, um, how this course is working for you or uh, has been working for you. And if you have any specific feedback for me, you can use this. Google Drive doc to give me um, detailed feedback. It's, it's sort of guide um, the survey here. If it's too intensive for you and you have so a lot of other things to worry about, you don't have to do this task. Okay, so the list you lose is five points. But if you do it, I would appreciate it. I mean, the most you lose is five points, not the list. <laughs> For that task, not if not doing it, and then you have the sample solution here. Um, your task for this is to post one main main concern for the final exam. Okay, and then answering this question here: What do you notice after comparing your work to the sample solution? And then this last task right here for week fifteen is just to take away, just to post your takeaways from looking at these sources. And they're designed to help you with uh, in-text citation, MLA formatting, um, transitional phrases and words, uh, PDF or tone words that could be useful when you discuss tone in your final exam or in your research paper or whatever it is that you need. Right? And this, PowerPoint uh, is again another attempt for me to help you out to clarify um, information on the final exam. Okay, this is the scoring guide again. Uh, you need to bring this green examination, this large green examination booklet, as you know, and the instructions on how to fill it out. And then the reminder about the December 22nd. Uh, Grade post deadline for me. I try to I try to post your official grade. Submit it on the um, my web site on that date. So that would be the earliest date that you can check your final grade for the class. And then just a reminder for the essay organization here. Um, and the citation. Quotation marks around shorter works and italicized underlying longer works like trifles and metamorphosis, the metamorphosis. Um, 
you, you need to to have it like this if it's look if it looks like this yes but if not they're not going to consider reading it they're really picky the scorers that is they're instructed to to score only the essay written on or inside this booklet okay and this one costs about 45 cents at the bookstore the evergreen bookstore okay so be sure that you pick up maybe not one but two perhaps just in case um, so that you can resell them resell the extra for five dollars or ten that's sure so um, reviewing on how, how to do MLA in-text citation okay for poetry for for fiction and uh, familiar, be familiar with the literary terms that are given to you to do here uh, for this final exam review, which is, as Mark pointed out, really extensive. So if it's too uh, burdensome, perhaps you can just look at the, uh, the sample solution, okay? Right here, and study from it. But uh, then again, you know, jumping right to this solution and just reading it would not help you remember much. So you kind of have to do some processing through writing it out, writing the answer out first before comparing them, the answers. Okay, so that's week 15 discussions forum. It will be due on December 15th. Um, the final exam score will be available to you on um, roughly around the 21st or the 22nd. Okay. Because we we score the all the final exams on the 19th and 20th, so as soon as I get the scores, I will calculate it and then I will post it definitely by the 22nd of December. Well, long meeting today. Um, lots of explanation, lots of questions. Um, so we have a few days left. You know, not a, not a few, but more than a few maybe. 15 days. So um, get through your assignments one at a time and um, chunk them up. <laughs> um, we are really dwindling down to the end of the semester. Okay? But you still have a few days left to go through. Uh, what questions can I help you with? Or what is there anything that, that you are not? sure about that I can assist at this point. So I will still be available on the Zoom the rest of this week and then next week. Okay, so I'll be on again uh, if week 15, if you, if you still have questions, you can meet me on Monday or uh, Tuesday or Friday or even Thursday. But uh, December 15th would be our last um, time together. So after that, any correspondence will be uh, done through inbox, Canvas inbox, or my email or my text. Yeah, I just said that. There, there will be Zoom meetings next week because next week is still a regular uh, instructional day for Evergreen. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Yeah, I know. People do get tired uh, listening to me droning on and on and on. Okay, with that, um, I'd like to end the meeting. And if you have more questions, please feel free to join me. Uh, oops, I will take attendance just to acknowledge your presence. Um, thank you for being here and good luck with your assignments. Let me see. While well, take attendance, you can uh, maybe come up with questions or formulate your comments, what whatnot. Okay, I have a question. Um, according to that week's instruction, 
Have I closed it? Hold on. Let me see if I closed it. Where did I put it? Huh. Uh, the Wix, or, Wix URL final check instructions here, it says that, oh, I missed it. Crap. So I will treat it as um, one of those optional things for you. So again, you make the decision if you wrote fantastic responses and would like to share them with the rest of the world, please, by all means, but I'm not going to make it a requirement, okay? So this would be optional. Yeah, it's not on the list. Good catch. Thank you, Mark. just one less thing for you guys to worry about, but, but if you have time, uh, please by all means and post them, especially if you, you did a really good job on those. Oh, okay. <laughs> but but you, po you should post your responses instead of your discussions or form posts. Okay, um, all right, take care guys. I will see you guys later.